right, Bingo. That was quite a prank you pulled. Yeah, what fun! What do you think, Pintronella? It seemed to me that Esmerella should try acting at the Frost Bluff Theater. Uh, that was a convincing performance. I'd say we certainly gave Dino a taste of his of season, hadn't we? Yes! Oh, it's all in good fun. He'll be fine. He just needed a good scare. We wouldn't have carried out the trick if Prisca hadn't given her permission, and she thought it might do him some good, just as we did. It's the season for scares, after all. Really? The season for scares. It's morning now, and I still haven't seen a sign of Dino. Ha! <laughs> that was great, though, Pintronella. I think we finally managed to frighten the unfrightenable. The spirit of the scare is still alive and well in the Shire, despite rumors to the contrary. Well, you'd better go see if you could have a chance of finding him in the daylight now. We don't want him falling into any trouble on our account, after all. Dino does ran off in the Northwest. He's probably laughing about it by now. Although, he'd never admit it. Very well. Let's go and find Dinodus. And he's got to be somewhere. How far off in this direction? Well, I guess he wouldn't be scared of bears, right? Because we've got some of those in the area. Anything else in the area? Most likely. We'll see how far we can get. Ah, I see someone up ahead. Ah, here he is. Hello, Dinadis. How are you doing? That was horrible, Pintronella. And very mean. I expect a full apology. You should go to round trying to scare people for no reason at all. No. Well, Bingo just thought you needed to have a little enjoyment for the Harvest Festival, that's all. Well, Bingo thinks nothing scares me. I have become the victim of my own acting skills then, Pintronella, and gave too fine of a performance. Do you remember when we explored the haunted burrow? I worked so hard to see through the spooky atmosphere and lay it bare as a sham, but deep down I was full of fear. Every bump, every sudden movement, every deep shadow seemed to promise some new form of terror. Foolish Pintronella, I do not fear nothing. I fear everything. Oh? Everything? Yes, now you know my secret shame, and I trust you will keep it to yourself. It all began some time ago, when I offered to walk Celadine Brandebuck back to her home after a dinner party my mother hosted. Celadine was very happy to have the company, but as we began to walk, I saw that the hour was much later than I had thought. The night was dark, and the shadows ran deep, and my blood ran cold at every creepy sound. I knew if I did not do something, Celadine will know me for a coward. Cry disaster! In order to make my fear, in order to mask it, I adopted a brazen attitude and mocked every fear I felt. It was all an act, an act at which I had become all too practiced. <sighs> Still, Bingo is my cousin. And that was a mean trick for any family member to perform at any remove and no matter the distance. Uh, speaking of distance, I was on my way back to the green fields when you caught up with me. I turned around because I heard something scary and dropped my pack and ran back this way. And do you think you could retrace my steps to the northwest and find my pack? I don't think I have the courage to go back and look for it. Okay, okay, I'll see if I can find it somewhere. Wherever it may be. He said northwest, I'll be somewhere along this way. Hopefully not too far along. 
W was it a bear that scared him? Uh, most likely a bear. Uh. Okay. Wait on. What's this? What? Well, here's the backpack, but it's also is that a fell spirit? Well, that's not good. Well, I've dealt with fell spirits in the past. There can be no reparations for the hurt that has been done. In one year, all will fear the parting of the wood. None will escape the curse of the eerie acres. Despair and repair to your holes, for none but one will laugh when all is done. <sighs> it's suddenly cold. I think that was chilly. And unfortunately it was incorporeal, so I couldn't even try to hit it. Uh, here's your pack, but and uh, believe me, what I saw was so ch chills down anyone's spine. Yes, Bingo has come here, and he apologized for the trick, and all is well now, and we don't need to discuss this any further, right? Right, P right, Pintronella? Okay, good. Uh, yeah, well, yes. Oh, thank you for the pack. And what was that you said? Oh, what? What was it? Actually, uh, perhaps you should tell Cousin Bingo. I don't think I need to hear about this. No, I don't believe it in, 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 uh, yeah, in that sort of rubbish. That's right. Uh, no, indeed. I have no need to hear this. Right. Yes, I apologize to Dina this for the scary trick, but I think it did him some good. Now, what has whirled you up in such a confusion? Well... I saw a specter up there of some sort, and, yes, and it spoke to me. Hmm, and is this some sort of joke or a trick of your own? You really saw this thing? Oh, yes, I saw it all right. Oh, boy, I saw it. Oh, what fun! A mysterious apparition appeared in the wood? How delightful! I simply must go and see it for myself. Let's go! You really want to see this thing? Okay, we'll go see this autumnal mystery. This way. And we'll see what it brings. Oh, boy. It really gives me the chills when it does that. Oh, uh, this looks like the... Right. Uh. Ah. Well. It is a specter, you know, and those things can disappear on a whim. It's gone! I'm disappointed, but that just makes me even more curious about it. What is going on here, Pintronella? What does Dina this think? Perhaps afterwards, you can circle around to that building on the top of the hill and see some sign of the apparition? All right. Well, what do you think, Dina? This... This... There's nothing here. That... That's even more scary. I, I do not like this at all, Pantrina. I, I, I mean, yes, all this nonsense. Yes, there was nothing there to begin with. And it's just very cruel to pretend otherwise. Right. Okay. I'll see what I can find. I need to get up this hill, though, don't I? Wonderful. I have to go and face my arch enemy. Uh, no, not the specter. The ridge. Ah, but I see nothing up at this building. Well, let's make sure on that.
No, uh, nothing up here. Well, I see Bingo down there. Well then, I suppose I should head back down and perhaps... Um, I was about to say it's the night, but no, it's daytime. Ha <laughs> ha. High noon. Yeah, seeing things like this at high noon is never comforting. Well, seeing them at midnight isn't exactly comforting either, now that I think of it. Well, I didn't find anything up there, Bingo. Nothing? I am not surprised. Whatever was here is clearly does not want to be seen again. I wonder why. My mind is full of questions, Pintronella. This is truly an autumnal mystery. I need some time to think over this. I will meet you back at the party tree. This wood has become very spooky of late, and while Dinandas may not fear anything, I have to confess that this place has given me the chills. I love it! But perhaps we should head back to Hobbiton all the same. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Let's go back to Hobbiton. Uh, we are back. Everything fine, Bingo? Yes, I'm very excited about this autumnal mystery, Pine Trinella. I have read many scary stories, and they always delight my imagination, but I've never been involved in one myself. Tell me once again what the ghostly fellow had to say. There can be no reparations for the hurt that has been done. In one year, all will fear the parting of the wood. None will escape the curse of the eerie acres. Despair and repair to your holes, for none but one will laugh when all is done. Hmm. I have to admit, I do not know what any of this means, Pantronella, but it sounds to me like we have a year to figure it out. I will do some thinking about this. It sounds to me as if next year's Harvest Festival might be something, though. I can't wait! <laughs> uh, but I guess that I must. I suppose that we must. And that concludes this epilogue to the Ballad of Bingo Boffin, though. Most likely there will be another one next year when we find out what this all means. And we'll see you next year. This is Pineapple Mules reminding you to quest responsibly.